This is Joe from Camelot. There's a ton and ton and ton and ton of armor. Um, and they're dancing in the armor, so some of it needs to be really light. And it's made out of um, vacuform plastic, which is the same type of plastic that they use in airplane interiors. And it's um, pretty good stuff. Some of it comes on and other stuff we apply are apply in-house. Um, it all depends on what the designer wants and how we can purchase it from the company. The plastic vacuform armor is quite light, like you can dance in it. They're also going to have um, fake chain mail underneath, plus the costume. Another thing that we've been doing is using armor molds from the past. Um, the designer brought us this helmet from the warehouse and really, really liked the shape but there were only two of them left in the warehouse and half of the original mold. It was from the 60s. So we took one of the helmets, blocked it up and made a new mold. So we've put new life into a helmet from 1960. So this is the new helmet from the mold. Uh, same shape, we've smoothed it out a little bit and covered in the entire front so that you can t cut out any shape. And we'll use this again for another 20 or 30 years to come. This, uh, the helmet's constructed out of fiberglass, which is the same thing that they use to make boats and Corvette bodies. The other neat thing about these helmets is um, because it's a musical, they're turning into tin can microphones. So we're going to build it, the lapel mics right into the helmets, and then the cord will run down the back. Rather than miking the actors, they can just put the helmet on. This helmet here is another helmet that we have in stock. It's a metal helmet. It's actually quite heavy, but it's the same thing. If you can evenly distribute it on the, on the head, it sits nicely as long as they don't have to do too much action. This is for Pelinor, and they wanted him to do a um, funny moment of the visor falling down. and So we're adding a visor to it. I usually take my measurements with a set of calipers. Um, grab the side to side of head, front to back of head, uh, chest, uh, chest size and then go from there because you're looking for the main box that they fit in and then we can start to fit it after that. One night we'll have a chest plate, a back plate, shoulder pieces, shoulder pauldrons, a gorget around their neck, full arms, a skirt which, has, which are tassets, full legs and then covers over their shoes and a helmet that they carry on. And it's that times about six or seven for all the main knights. And then the Kabuki knights have these metal gauntlets and the helmets plus their costumes. So there's a, quite a lot of armor.